Hello everyone, we're gonna make a mobile. I've got two pieces of paper. They don't have to be different colors um, or this exact size, but I was trying to show that they're about four inches by about five and a half. That's what I'm using for my example, but yours can be any size. Uh, what you're gonna do is put them together, fold them in half. I would recommend hamburger. And then you're gonna do a little bit of drawing where you draw a line. So here's your fold. Actually, I'm gonna flip it this way so that it looks like the book. So my fold is on the left and all my open pages are to the right. And I'm gonna draw a line starting at the fold and going close to the edge and coming back. Okay, I need to do that a few times. I'll show you how many. Here's another, start at the fold, draw and come down. I'm making mine pretty simple, just like an oval, and you'll see why, just to keep it easy. You're going to need to cut on these lines, so if you make them too wiggly, it's difficult to, um, to then cut. After you've drawn your line, so I drew one, two, three lines, then I'm gonna cut on them. So with my scissors, starting at the fold, I'm going to cut. Again, if I go off my line a little or I decide, hey, I wanted to have a little bit of wiggle, that's fine. Okay, there's, that's gonna be scrap. Now it's important I stay on my line. Maybe down here I wanna add some wiggle. That's okay, or I could just stay on my line. We're not gonna end up erasing, so if you make a mess up, it's fine. This side will be glued inside in a few minutes. So wiggle, 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 cut. Okay, you see how those pieces fit right inside each other? I didn't have a mess up and like cut through anything. That's no good. This is recycling, I'm done with. But these pieces need to be kind of strong and solid. Notice also how I made them wide enough that nothing is gonna be too flimsy. That means like wiggly waggly. You'll see why, so keep watching. <laughs> Then what I'm gonna do is each piece, I'm gonna just open up what looks like a mouth, like a big Frankenstein mouth, like from Halloween or something. So I've got the two pieces and they match. This one has pencil on it, so I wanna make sure that I put glue on that pencil side. So I'm putting them right next to each other. I'm gonna open up my next two. Oh, fun. <laughs> They'll go on top. So big on the bottom, medium sized on top, and then look what I'm gonna do. Small inside. If you realize, goodness, how did that fit? Was it that way or that way? It doesn't really matter, but they, the sizes have to match. So this one, if I have the like wiggly part up, here the wiggly part should be up. Okay, so now I'm ready to start adding glue. I know I'm going fast, but this is a good reference for you for when you start working. You'll get to see this live if you come to our specials time also, and we can answer any questions. Okay, I'm putting glue only on one color, one side. Okay, I put it around, not too much, it's kind of a dot, dot, not a lot, but then I also made sure to really put it where the fold is, and look why. I've got some yarn coming, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna take the yarn and I wanna put the bottom at the bottom. Okay, this is where the end goes. And then I'm gonna very carefully tap, tap, tap into the center fold. Very important that that fold is going up and down so that you can put your yarn right in there. I'm gonna cut my yarn so that it's a nice long piece. Look how long I made it. It's really nice and long. If you cut it too short, it's a little tricky. You won't be able to hold it up. Um, then, I bet you guys have a good guess what's gonna happen, right? Make a prediction. My small piece goes on top of my small piece. Big, big. I gotta give it a little bit of a press and then like this. Okay, and when I hold it up, which I don't recommend doing right away because this is wet glue. <laughs> it 
it might fall apart if I hold it up right now, but I made one just a little while ago today. Look at this one. Though it was spinning around as I just moved it. I used thread because some of us don't have yarn at home. That's okay. I looked in my sewing bag and um, just used thread. Oh my goodness, my mobile. It's beautiful. I love it. It just ever so gently moves around. Now you can see there is a little bit of a difference. Do you see that I cut one more shape out of that same size paper? So see how both of these have something in the middle, okay? That can happen. Um, it's a good thing, it's fine. Um, I'm going to make another one, and this time I'm gonna try to use, this is some envelopes that came in the mail but I thought that inside was so cool, that pattern. So I think I'm gonna try to make another one or two. I just need to get paper that's the same size, two pieces, fold it in half, and go. You'll make a super cool mobile. I can't wait to see what you guys make.